as you can see in the previous um, uh, part one of this backend API call uh, video, what happened is that we had an uh, error, an out of memory error. So I restarted the, the computer and that freed up the memory, the random access memory or the RAM. And now I can select it again. So I went to the double arrow again in LM Studio. And now I'm going to select, let's say this Lama 2 chat one. And once it's loaded, I'm going to click on start server with the default. As you can see, there we go. It started and you can stop the server or not. So my next step is to actually run the example client request. So the request is going to be just like an open API request. And I'm going to copy and paste this somewhere so that you can see it better. I'm going to copy and paste this right here inside of uh, the text and make it a lot bigger. OK, so it's pretty straightforward. CURL or curl is a way to make um, a network request. So I'm going to make a network request to my local machine. This is localhost. It's going to go to the port 1234 where the server is running. It's going to use the version 1 of this chat. And this is the URL, the complete URL, or uh, this is the API uh, sin, uh, method that will run uh, the, uh, the code. Now, inside of this, uh, this is JSON code. And you can see that this JSON is right here. It's opening and closing curly braces. And it has uh, an array, uh, because it has the, the, bra the brackets here, an array of messages. So the two messages are, one is the role as a system, the system says always answer in rhymes and the reply and, the, and right after this, the user would say introduce yourself. So the actual query is introduce yourself, but this is basically a, a system which is telling the system that uh, it's guiding the system to tell that the answer when you introduce yourself should be in rhymes. OK, so it should be like a poem. Um, don't worry about the max token and all of that for now. Let's go with the default. So copy and paste this CURL. Uh, and by the way, I know not all of you may have CURL because if you are on a Windows, you might not have it straight out of the box. But that's not a problem. You can go and download it for free. And one way to do this is to go on the internet, open a new website on any web browser, and you're going to go to, uh, this one would be curl.se backslash windows. So if you go there, that's going to go and you can download the version for windows and install that. And then you can run this into your PowerShell. So you will have the C URL in your PowerShell. Now there's an equivalent to PowerShell and you can Google it. Um, the equivalent for this is called, if I remember on windows, it's called, um, the invoke rest request. So that would be the equivalent would be, let me write it down here. Invoke dash rest method. Uh, so just Google this and you'll figure out a way to do the, the, the equivalent. Having said that, let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to the terminal. So open any terminal. I'm going to make it a little bigger and here just paste that command. All right. And once you paste it, press enter. And I want you to take a look at this first before pressing enter, go to LM studio. And here there's the server logs. Basically that's um, the, the, uh, the console prints of the interaction with the, um, the server. So I want you to clear this. Why? Because I want you to see once you send the request, what's going to happen. So I'm back to the terminal. I press enter. And if I go back here, check this out. It received the request and it's processing every token. So it's adding to its reply. And here it just sent the reply. So if I go back here in the terminal, I see that I have the reply. Now, the reply is also a message. And as you can see here, um, it has choices and the message as the assistant has hello there. I am a fun loving AI with rhymes that flow like a river and so on. So this is the actual text. So if you're running um, an Android app or you're creating an Android app or uh, iOS app, you need to parse the JSON here to get this specific content here. All right. So that's basically what you need to display to the screen. If you, if you have an app that interacts with your server, um, having said that we will do this in the following lectures, but I'm going to stop here. And, um, I want you also, uh, as an exercise, we're going to do this in the next lecture. We're going to interact with this. This time using, uh, instead of using, um, CURL, we're going to using, we're going to be using Python. Having said that, 
what I want you to do now is go back to the code here and instead of saying always answer in rhymes, just type always answer um, for an infant of eight years old. Why? Because it's going to use a more simple vocabulary. All right. So copy and paste this, copy this and going back to the terminal. I'm going to just type clear to make the screen uh, empty and I'm going to paste this, press enter. Oh, it says that uh, I have an error and the reason why is that it probably doesn't like um, the dot. So let me fix this. Yes, you guys see this is that when when I uh, when I use the editor, it changed the quote. So make that's very important because that's probably going to happen to you too. As you can see, do you guys see that double quote here? That double quote is very different than this double quote. One is, uh, is, is sloped and not the other one. One slanted. OK, so make sure to remove this and put one that's straight. Press enter and now it's interacted correctly. OK, so as you can see, it's processing. And as you can see, it has a giggle here. All right, it's done. And here you go. Here is the answer. So as you can see, it added emojis to the, the reply. Uh, and um, the reason why it did this is that it's interacted for an eight-year-old, so that's why it, it did it this way. So as you can see, um, even though we had the exact same question, the fact that we changed the system, um, the system expression, it used different vocabulary and different answers, completely different tones in the answer. All right, see you guys in the next lecture.